When it comes to finances, it is extremely important to have your books in order. As a person who understands business and being an entrepreneur, it is vital to have your capital in place. And this is no different regarding NFL teams and specifically our team, the Detroit Lions. In this video, I'm going to give you six players that the Detroit Lions could look to cut to save some money, not necessarily individuals that they will and I'm going to give you my reasons why as well as replacements and the money that could be saved but before we get into this video if you think it'd be a really smart idea to build a giant tower all the way up and when you get to the very top you get a bow and you pull that bad boy back with an arrow and you let it go trying to shoot God then go ahead and subscribe to my channel because we talk all things Detroit Lions news and rumors and sometimes you can just get split up. Also, make sure you attach that like button to that arrow. Shoot that bad boy up there. Let's get into today's Lions 6 Potential Cap Casualties. Again, before we get into these players, this is not players that I'm picking out just because I'm picking that out. I just simply looked at the cap. I looked at the other players relevant around them. And if I'm a Detroit Lions personnel who's dealing with finances, that's kind of wanting what you want to look at is, is the cut worth the player bringing up? All that and the other. Not saying these players are going to get cut, but that is the reasoning for this list. First individual here is... Offensive guard, right guard, Halapluti Vati Vaitai. He's in his second year. We signed him up in free agency last year. He didn't do well year one, but I tell you what, this year he actually did a really good job. Lomas Brown said he was the best offensive lineman playing this last year. So they may not want to cut him just because of his productivity. With that said, his dead cap hit is $4.2 million. His cap is $8.4 million million dollars and if they decided to cut him it would save them 4.2 you can add it to around 25 million that they got guess what we're near 30 million what would the replacement be here Tommy Kramer potentially could be an individual they look at he is the undrafted rookie that we got out of Notre Dame he took time in this last season and he did good filling in it was like nobody was missing because why we got Hank Fraley a fantastic offensive line coach or they could look towards the draft, maybe mid-round pick, or even, again, late to an undrafted rookie. Let me know in the comment section right now, would you cut Halapaluti Vati Vaitai, also known as Big V? This one is simple, K for keep, C for cut. Let me know in the comment section below and reasoning why. Next player on my list is actually not a big name here, Logan Stenberg. He's been on this roster for a couple of years, but... In all honesty, we haven't seen really any production out of him worthy to be on his team. And yes, his money is not much regarding the 2022 NFL season. But if we're not using his services, why do we need to have him? Well, his dead cap hit is 370000 His cap hit is $1 million, a little over a million. And it saves around $709,000. Who could be potentially his replacement? Again, Tommy Kramer. I think they can just simply go that route. He is cheaper. He does a good job. And if they wanted to get another undrafted rookie in behind that place, you're saving some money. So you're getting the productivity out with the same amount of money you're putting in. Unlike Logan Stenberg, who... We're not really getting anything out of him. Let's get into Will Harris. I put defensive back here because, look, he played safety. But we also moved him to cornerback, obviously with Aaron Glenn. But his dead cap hit is $238,000. His cap is $2,778,000. And if we decided to cut him, it'd be $2,540,000 worth of savings. And I think this is probably a smart move. He did okay as cornerback. I'm not going to lie. But I do believe the Detroit Lions are fairly strong at the cornerback position. And bringing Akuda back. And players getting healthier. Melifonwu as well starting to step up. He may not have a role in that position. Do you really want him back at safety? I would say to the naw-naw. Replacement 
If they decided to cut him, I think Marcus Williams, the New Orleans Saints safety, would be a good spot. Yes, it's going to cost a little bit of money, but we're talking about a much bigger upgrade at the safety position. And if you're talking about, well, what about the cornerback position? They can, again, draft a corner in the draft. We're talking mid to late draft and undrafted. We got Jerry Jacobs, undrafted rookie, produced highly. And guess what? It saved a lot of money in comparison to a Will Harris. Michael Brockers, defensive tackle for the Detroit Lions. Now, when it comes to his dead cap, it's only seven million nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars. His cap it is eight million nine hundred seventy five thousand. Saving is of one million twenty five thousand dollars. Not big savings, but when it comes to a production standpoint. Versus what we already have in this football team, it makes sense to cut him. He wasn't producing that much on the field. And we have guys such as Levi Anwuzurike, who we drafted last year in the second round, that I could think that needs to get a bigger role. It could actually do better than Michael Brockers. We have all sorts of players on this defensive line that can play the defensive tackle position, the edge, the same type of position that Michael Brockers take, and we can save a little over a million dollars. We're trying to get younger, and I really don't believe that Michael Brockers is going to be part of this rebuild ultimately for the long haul. Right now, I'm almost to 20,400 subscribers, a little bit away. So go ahead and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. You don't want to miss on the latest news and rumors regarding our Detroit Lions. With your help, I know we can get to 20,400. Smash that subscribe button. Yes, a lot of people's going to get on me for putting Jamal Williams on here. I love Jamal Williams. I want him to be on the team. Let's get this completely straight. But when we do look at the depth at the running back position for the Detroit Lions, it is extremely deep. And we got players that can play over the field. And this is just the facts here. His cap hit is $4,625,000. His dead cap hit is $1,625,000. This would save the Detroit Lions $3 million in the 2022 NFL season. It's not a lot of money, but it does save some money. And if you decided to go another route, like I stated, you got Craig Reynolds that can come in here and make a difference for the Detroit Lions and take that spot. We signed him before the season was over. Well-deserved. And we also got Jermar Jefferson, who we drafted last year. We already got DeAndre Swift, who is perceivably to be the number one. And we got Jason Cabinda fullback. And who knows? Maybe they take a fullback in the draft or as an undrafted rookie, as our head coach, Dan Campbell, loves them players. You can save some money. With that said, I do think it hurts because he's got a fantastic personality. He's a great player to have in the locker room. So I think that actually saving that money is okay financially, but it actually may hurt the locker room a little bit. And I don't know if we really want to go that route. We all knew who was the last player on my list. This is Trey Flowers. To me, he's a dead man walking. Why do I say this? His cap hit is $23,239 million. His dead cap hit is $12,853,000 with a savings of $10,386,000. That is a lot of money to save, and his lack of production on the Detroit Lions, it definitely does not justify what we're paying him at all. And we have plenty of replacements for him. It looks probably like the Detroit Lions are going to select an edge with the second pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, whether it be Aiden Hutchinson, potentially Kayvon Thibodeau, if they move back, they definitely could take one as well. We already got Austin Bryant. We got Charles Harris, who we potentially could bring back on the cheaper. Romeo Aquara, Julian Aquara. We have edges galore that actually produces for the Detroit Lions more than Mr. Trey Flowers, who is only really producing by hurting the Lions' checkbook. We have needs that we need to get in free agency. We need to get safety, potentially get a wide receiver. We can get some more depth. And by cutting a Trey Flowers, you could be able to acquire a couple more players for the Lions. Or if they really wanted to go in on one specific said player, like a wide receiver they really need to target, maybe a number one, a higher price guy, they can do that by cutting Trey Flowers. So in the end of the day, this may be 
the most sensible option, the most logical option, and in my opinion, it's just a matter of time before he's a free agent on the free agent market. Like I said, these are six players that potentially could get cut. Not saying they are, not saying that I want them to do, but could. And there's definitely other individuals on this list. You can look at the lower tier players, the back end of the 53-man roster. No doubt about it. We all know about that. It's kind of pointless to just go through every single player instead of just kind of look at individuals that we've seen for the last couple of years for this football team. Let me know what you guys think. Who are potential cap casualties that I may have not listed for the Detroit Lions? Put the name down below. If you agree with some of these players, let me know. If you disagree, hey, let me know. It's perfectly fine. Also, we got videos dropping on this channel every single day. The latest news, the latest rumors, and breaking news. That's why you want to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out. And make sure you go ahead and subscribe, like I said earlier in the video. Also, we got the One Pride podcast on my channel every single Thursday, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. It's fun where you guys comment and we talk about what you guys want to talk about. That's what it's all about. Saturday, we drop those comments in a mailbag video. Also, free agency is coming up. It is going to be explosive. We got the NFL draft. We got prospects. A lot of content will be on this channel, so you don't want to miss out. Make sure you come back.